I'm back, baby. I am back. Finally, guys, it's literally been so long since our last film. Literally, it was about two and a half weeks or something like that. Something ridiculous. But I've been good, guys. My exams were good. But I'm glad to be back, guys. Holiday season now. Thank God. Partying, girls, drinking, partying, girls, drinking. I can't wait. I'm buzzing. But guys, I haven't spoken to you guys since our heartbreak and our despair versus severe. And you know what? I thought, let's look back at our top five moments of the season. Hope you guys enjoy it. At number five, we've got Lalana's goal versus Norwich. That was honestly one of the best games I have ever, ever witnessed. It all was just so crazy. The whole game was like a roller coaster. And that final goal, after such heartbreak in the final minutes of them equalizing, it was just so magical. Like I can still remember running around my house, literally swinging my shirt around. It was crazy. And guys, the actual celebration from the players topped that as well. What a celebration. Jürgen Klopp running with the boys, running to a lot of his arms wide open, looking for a classical Jürgen Klopp, no, clog. I meant a classical Klopp hug. And guys, it was just such a moment of like togetherness, of unity. That late goal, honestly, that just sums up what the Jürgen Klopp army is about. We fight till the last ball, we fight till the last whistle, and that showed throughout our season. It was amazing. Honestly, this was just the start. This kind of like sort of kick-started our season. This really was like the push that we needed and it actually set us up very well for the latter part of the season. In at number four, you've got the Jurgen Klopp signing. What an appointment the local board made. FSG, well done. That was honestly such a coup for the club. What a manager we have on our hands, guys. I mean, it's incredible. The charisma of the man. Honestly, his first interview alone, it just was so encouraging. From that moment when he said doubters to believers. Guys, he really meant it. And honestly, the fans right now are starting to believe it as well. He took us to two finals. I mean, that is magical. Two finals in less than eight months is incredible work with Brendan Rodgers' side as well. Also, guys, the local fans tracking Jürgen Klopp's flight. Honestly, the fans, I can't even understand this, okay? But I was, I, was, I was a guilty party as well, I must admit this, okay? I also tracked a little bit of Jürgen Klopp's flight to Liverpool from Dortmund. I'm ashamed of it, but I mean, that was crazy. Literally, the fans, I think it was something like 30,000 or 20,000 Liverpool fans tracked his flight from Dortmund to Liverpool. I mean, but guys, having one season under his belt now, let's hope he can kick on next season and actually challenge for, for the top four, actually. I mean, that should be our aim, and hopefully he can deliver. At number three, you got the fans during the Europa League running. What a time it was to be a Red. Oh my word. It was so magical. The fans, for once, were in unison. For once, the fans were together. For once, the fans backed the team, backed the manager. But for once, guys, we had hope. We had belief. We actually were believers. For once, we had changed from doubters to believers. It was amazing. I loved it. And guys, that, what the fans did, gave Liverpool the advantage in the Dortmund game and in the Villarreal game, and it showed. The players crumbled under the Anfield voice, and what a voice it was, really. I had shivers down my neck when I heard like you'll never walk alone in Anfield. It was so, so special. I would have loved to have been there, but you know, I'm a bit too far away for that. <laughs> but I mean, it was amazing. It was just one of those moments which you cherish, you know what I mean? We have to do it again next year. Please, God, we have many more, many more bus welcomings, whatever you want to call it, next year and the seasons to come under Jürgen Klopp. And uh, we have reason to believe so. Okay, now for the final two. Can you guys guess what my final two are? Guys, go comment now down below what you think number one and number two are, and uh, let's see if you guys are right. F number two, you've got the Dortmund game. I mean, it was crazy. Literally coming back from 2-0 down, then to 3-1 down, to actually win the game, it was it was so magical. I would love to relive that moment again. It was so, so special. The walk-in or the walk-through on the bus, whatever you want to call it, it was incredible. It was like the first time there's been unity at the club in a while. And everything was just so optimistic. And then for two quick goals to shut you down like that, it was horrible. There was one goal back and I was like, okay, okay. 
And then no, Liverpool do a bloody Liverpool, make things hard for themselves, and you find yourself 3-1 down. At this stage, I thought, no, no, there's no chance. There's no chance we can win this or go through. I mean, even if we come back to 3-3, you're still not going to go through. And uh, I gave up, to be honest. I gave up. I shouldn't have, but I gave up, okay? And uh, one goal went in. Two goals went in. And now things were getting really, really interesting. At 3-3, the crowd is roaring. Literally, Anfield were willing the ball into the goals. They were like trying to suck it in. The ball goes in and Anfield, the whole of Anfield now is sucking the ball towards the goal. The ball goes up. Lovren's in there. Lovren's in there. And he knocks it in. And I remember running and screaming. And I can't even explain to you what I did because I didn't know myself. I didn't even know what to do with myself, where to put myself. I was just in absolute euphoria. Liverpool fans around the world were in one. Literally, I think the whole world probably heard the Liverpool fans that night screaming and roaring. It was incredible. And we did it. We actually did it. The Anfield miracle. Dun, 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 dun. That was so weird. Then at number one, you've got the Hillsborough Justice. Honestly, nothing in the whole season could compare to what happened. Honestly, it was one of the best moments in Liverpool's whole history. For years and years and years, Liverpool fans were blamed for the deaths of the 96, their family, their friends, their children, and for the world not to believe that you didn't kill them or you weren't the reason they passed away. That must be so heartbreaking, really. That must be crushing on a family. And well done to the Hillsborough families. Honestly, you stuck together in unison. And you guys actually epitomize what Liverpool is all about. We are family, we are strong, there's a sense of togetherness, and no one should ever fuck with Liverpool. Honestly, no one must. Liverpool win. Liverpool will always come out on top. The people of Liverpool are special and they picked on the wrong city. They really did. And finally, justice was served. Sorry I had to end this on a downer, but guys, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a huge thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. Hope you guys are excited for the holidays as I am. Thanks for watching again, and I'll see you next time. Bye.